Sega Rally Championship. Okay, YouTube, it's me again, Panda from Panda Outdoors. We are out again up in the Peak District on this video. We've got Greg leading the pack from Northwest 4B4 in his disco. Coming up the back, we've got Andy in their L200 and then our little Nissan again. So, I'll bring you along for the ride. Greg's probably planned a really good route. Um, only a short one, it's only a half day, so there's not as many routes in um, as many lanes in this one. But hopefully, it'll be a good day and we get some good footage. Greg is going to be doing a video for his channel as well. So, what I'll do is I'll leave the link for Greg's video in the description of this one. Okay, so stay tuned and hopefully, we get a good video on the way. Bring you back in the truck. So, we're in the Nissan now. Brownie's driving again. There's no point changing a recipe that works. So, like Heinz beans, they don't change theirs. So, Brownie done good driving last time we were out. So, he can do the driving this time. Um, hopefully, we don't get all excited again like we did on the last video <laughs> when we got up that hill. Past I hope that you. Past that. We're past all that. We're past that. We're past the excitingness. <laughs> we know the truck's capable. Um, so, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the last video. As I say, Brownie's done uh, four wheel driving before uh, in his past job and I'm still a bit new to it. So, We'll bring you along for the journey. So I hope you enjoy this one. Stay tuned for some good lanes around the Peak District. Yeah. This is not a pencil, is it? No, no. So we can smell it, not diesel. On my feet, no one got in there. Got in. Stared kind of guy, like, but unfortunately, you've just seen that the first lane we've done so far. Um, on the way here, we heard a bit of a pop, but we didn't think nothing of it, and then we could smell fuel uh, and it was getting stronger. So, Greg thought it was his Land Rover. When we got out to check it, when we turned around, it was actually our uh, little Nissan that was leaking fuel. I think a pipe has popped off the injector or 
one of the injectors uh, seals have gone. So what we've done now, me and Brian, have just pulled over. We've let Greg and Andy crack on. There's no point um, them staying here when they can they can crack on. What they've gonna done is they're not doing the route now. They've gone on trail wise and they find they're gonna just do little local lanes in case we need them so they can come back to us. If we can't get it fixed, we're gonna get a see if we can get a recovery truck down here. But for now, me and Brian are gonna have a little go and see if we can fix it. Hopefully it's just a pipe, easy fix. Take the intercooler off, which is this. We'll take the intercooler off so we can get at the rear injector and hopefully it's just a pipe we've got to cut down. Uh, so not the video I was hoping to make today, but hey, if it turns out to be an alright video and it's a bit of a laugh, you should come along for the ride. Um, okay, bring us back shortly. Okay, so I'm only a tyre fitter and Brownie is a manager in a security company, we're not mechanics. So no judge, no judging on this. Okay, so we've just loosened this Jubilee clip off and we've just undone the other clip on there. We're now going to remove these four bolts um, to get the intercooler off so we can see the injector. So, okay, keep watching. Hopefully I'll get the intercooler off pretty swift. Okay, so we've got the intercooler off as you've just seen, uh, but the engine's roasting. Uh, so what we're doing, we're just letting it cool down a little bit, um, so we don't burn our fingers. So it is now, what time is it? It's Chico time. It's now 10 to two, so what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna get a little bit of a butty on the go uh, while waiting for the engine to cool down and have something to eat, and then we'll crack on and try and fix this injector. Hopefully it's just a split pipe. Okay, so it was just a little rubber seal that popped off the back of the injector. Intercooler's back on. Okay, this is what I was saying about make sure you bring the right tools. This socket set's really handy, and there's a few odds and sods in this bag and spare pipes. Okay, so as you can see, we're just tightening up the bolts back now. Jubilee clips all tight on the intercooler pipe, and we're just going to tighten these bolts up now. Brownie's on his side. I'm just going to finish my side off when I put the phone away. What side do you want to go? Nipped up, no swing on him. And she lives! She lives! Okay, so, job well done. We're back in the truck now. As you can see, the bonnet is down. Um, and we're just off to go meet Greg. So hopefully we get a few more lanes in and it doesn't pop again. But at least if it does come out again, we know what it is. We can put it back in just to get us home. Okay, so I'll bring you back. Hopefully we get some more lanes in. This is that we go through a quarry you now. Uh, I've done this before. This storm we've done with Liam.
Okay folks, so that was a little episode of Panda Outdoors and 4 Before's. As you've seen, we had some uh, um, some bother with the truck. It was a stupid little rubber uh, blank on the injector. We managed to make one out of, we cut a bit of pipe down and put steel seal on the end of it. And it seems to have worked. We got a couple of tracks uh, done. So it was it was a good day. It was hopefully this video showed you the other side of green leaning. So sometimes things go wrong. That's why you need the tools with you. Um, again, Brownie was driving. Once again, he done a top job, uh, like he did in Wales. Um, hopefully, we get the L200 back on the road, and both of us will be out. We have me and Greg are gonna sit down and plan a few camping trips for next year as well. And I know Greg's going to the Pyrenees, so there'll be videos for that on his channel. Unfortunately, I can't go. So, again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, much appreciated. And if this video's helped anybody out, uh, or you think anyone could benefit from it, please share it to any relevant groups. It really, really helped the group. And don't forget, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It uh, helps with the channel. So, thank you again for watching. And I'll see you outdoors sometime. Take care now.